And so I might enjoy the movie better. It's kind of like one of those things the book's always better, so they say. It's a weird way to look at it, but it's true. <laughs> hey, what movies do you know that were better than the book? Uh, Howard the Duck. <laughs> that was a comic book. There was a book, too. Oh, did anybody see Predators? Oh, yeah, Predators. That's actually getting good reviews. They say it's like the first one. Only lots more of them. Let's make cookies. You do it. I'm making more dinner. Uh, apparently, they're making cookies. You guys ate it all already. Scarfed. Now, I'm trying to see what else is coming out that anybody will want to see this Oh, one. there's that new Balto-looking film. Oh, the Alpha Wolf? <laughs> yeah, is that it? Uh, Alpha and Beta, I think it's called. The faces look weird. I, I don't know what it is. It didn't. It, it's a very unique design, but it, it's it looks just like Balto. It even has that duck. It's called Alpha and Omega. It's Balto 3, or 4, or 5. Alpha and Omega. Yeah, it just looks like another Balto film. The it might be good, though. The designs and characters look like Balto, except for the faces look all like... I don't know what they look like. The Expendables might be good. They look like rodents. They look like mice. The faces look like mice, wouldn't you say? I'd have to look at it again. Yeah, it was very strange face designs, but they all look like you would see a, like a cartoon fox or a mouse or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm just overexposed. That yeah, might be it. Excuse me. And, oh. nice one. and oh. that one comes out in uh, September. Yeah. And yeah, it borrowed a lot from... Abraham says it borrowed a lot from Balto. That's a they look quite a bit. That's probably still a good film. Balto was a very good film. This one... Actually, of course, the storyline is already different because it's not about the, the, the quest to save a life like in Balto. This is more... Journey. I don't know. I'll have to see it, see what the story is. Oh, it you does look good, though. You're going to love October. What? Paranormal Activity 2. I never saw the first one. Jackass 3D. That one I'll see. And Saw 3D, The Traps Come Alive. For real? Yeah. How many more Saws are there? Yeah, it's, as long as they can keep making them. I'll keep watching them. I thought the last Saw was the best one so far. Well, no. Saw 2 was still the best. The last one was the second best. And then they just kind of trickle around. Yeah, they're going to keep going. <laughs> and then, of course, we know it comes in December. What? Trying. I hope that film's not being oversold. It is. Because I think they're going to overhype it and they're going to kill it. Yeah. And even though it is might be a great film, uh -huh. they're going to hype it as a better than great film. And then people are going to go, eh, it wasn't that good. I'm going to say this. And the people, book was better. And people will probably argue with me. The video game was better. But you know what worries me the most about that movie? What? Disney. They're going to screw it up? Yep. D well, they did the this first is one. not really Disney's forte. They did the first one. The first one they actually did, did not get very good reviews at all. No, it didn't. And they did the first one because they needed something to compete with Star Wars. Yeah. And they had already tried the black hole, and it went Bomb. into the Oh, I black love hole. the black hole, though. See, I, now, well, I was a little kid for that, so I think it was kind of made for my audience. It's one of my favorite movies, too, but you got to admit, if you watch it today, it's kind of crap. This <laughs> Neutron looks very Have dark. you watched the black hole recently, Mutt? I have not. You should go back and watch it. It is going to feel like watching E.T. Yeah, oh, it's really? Exactly I'm going to see thing. how bad it is? Not just that. It is slow. Oh, yeah. slow. Yeah. It is slow. Now, we had some serious attention spans back then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not anymore, though. Well, it was because back then, in order to see an effect or something, yeah. you had to wait and wait and wait. Lasers and stuff were like, Yeah, they had cool. things like character development back then. Now you just got to break right into it. Now it's, you know, with all the CGI, it's like you don't got to wait anymore. You don't have to hide the monster. Another thing that bothered me about Sorcerer's Apprentice was another forced love story. Of course. I don't know what it is with this. I mean, it's the way you, they say you got to have the love story in there to keep the, the chicks interested. But yet at a chick flick, you don't get random zombie attacks out of Steel Magnolias. I want that. <laughs> I mean, if I'm, if I'm watching, like, four weddings and a funeral, I want a, a streetcar... Alien attack out of nowhere, just forced in randomly that doesn't fit the storyline and then just breaks back out. Because that's exactly as these love stories are put into the stories. They're just like, oh, let's stop our story for a moment and do a little love interest. Okay, we're done with that. Okay, back to our story. Well, I think it's more that a lot of filmmakers today do not have an ability to be able to write a coherent story. So they have to throw a love story in because it's kind of one of those, okay, it's been done for over 500 years. We at least know what's supposed to happen. Somebody meets somebody, they fall in love, and they, they move on. But the whole plot has to come to a screeching halt so they can go through this little love thing. That's because people can't write nowadays. Uh, it's really frustrating. But again, you know, if I'm going to have to go see a, like a chick flick like The Boathouse... Yeah, I want, you, I want aliens crashing out of the sky for, like, no reason. Would you go see the boathouse, though? 
Actually, that one did look kind of interesting, and I tried to How watch it. How many chick flicks have you seen in the last year, Mike? Actually, that was the one I half watched, but the story got so stupid, and it just kind of avoided how this whole time How many chick thing. flicks have you watched in the last five years? Boathouse. Half of it. Okay, I was worried you forgot to do something. No, just I like liked, I, it was, again, I liked Boathouse until they completely oh, forgot about. Oh, name that carpet. It's from Tron. <laughs> Hey, it's Name That Carpet. That is Anthrocon in the, in the DLCC's convention center. Is that what we're doing right now, Name That Carpet? I yeah. guess so. Okay, it's Name That Carpet, and we know what it is because they named it. I just said I know that carpet. Oh, you know what we haven't played this week? KP knows that carpet. We haven't played one end to wear. Is he wearing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, let's finish our carpet first. He's wearing he's black. Wearing he, he's wearing black Under Armour. All right, what carpet oh. is this? Oh, wait a minute. What the hell is he well, doing? That's an easy one. They're out. They, 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 yeah, they named oh. it. <laughs> yeah, they... Gee, what could this be? Uh, I have no idea. The word Megaplex is tattooed onto the carpet. Yeah. And there's a hotel. Did he tattoo them all? And there's, um... Okay. okay. Oh, there's one. There's one. Name that. that carpet. Name oh. that... Oh, oh the you audience, audience. Uh, let the audience choose first. Apparently, if you go to camera real quick, uh, here's some more carpet. That's apparently uh, Zeke's boxies. And oh, I know what hey, happened here. Zeke, he put your pants on. He tried to numerically order them, but you can't numerically order them when you have two-digit numbers. Okay. Sawblade says Got MFF. It. Um, Abraham says fur fright. I got. I've got to redo these because they're numerically in order, but they, the way they alphabetize is by the first digit. Uh -huh. What? So Just name it. one and twelve are like or one and eleven are like right after each other, not yes. one, two, three. Right. That kind of kills the content. That's because computers are not that intuitive. Okay. Okay. Sarah says that's his house. Yeah. La 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 I'm la doing. La I'm doing la la the two-digit thing now. La Abraham la says la R M no. R M F C. No, I don't think so. A Rocky Mountain Fur... Uh, Rocky Mountain Fur Con or fur Rocket Con? City Fur Meat. Okay, okay. No, no, no. It's RMFC. So Rocky Mountain. Yeah, but what we were talking about before while he organizes... Uh-huh. You know, I don't even think it's movie attention spans. I just think people don't have imagination anymore. Well, that's part of it, too. I mean, look at things. There you can see giant robots, and you can see aliens like every two seconds in a movie. Okay, Nobody cares. Just... We're back. Okay, right, back to go. the Anthrocon carpet. Name this carpet. <laughs> it's Anthrocon. Very in, good. In the convention center. And name this carpet. Name this carpet, audience. What is it? Hmm? Do you know? No, that's not Yappy's living room. Bucktown Tiger says Anthrocon. Probably. Chris Blaine says LOL con. I'm thinking it's probably the 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 Westin. We the Westin. I think it's the bathroom at the Westin. AC. Oh my God! The Westin. <laughs> Huge hiccup. And audience, what is it? It is. Oh, it Crown Plaza. Furry Fiesta. Furry Fiesta. Where's oh. that at? That is in Texas. So that's every one Texas. of you sack. That's wow. a, that's one I've not been you to yet. You are all so wrong. Actually, it's Shane Graytail says Furry Fiesta, <laughs> and so does Snowball. Okay, what is this puke? Somebody threw up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I see that stain oh, on the left. Racket so. also said furry fiesta. Okay, who's, whose stains are these? <laughs> Yours. Here's our game. Name, Name that stain. stain. Okay, third floor western from Scooter. Uh, MFF from Sawblade. Five. The, the lockup at the downtown jail. <laughs> uh, let's see. Further confusion. Abraham from says Colin this is Anthrocon. Double tree from. Well, everybody thinks everything DJ is Anthrocon. Anthrocon, third, third floor. floor. Oh, everybody got that one wrong. <laughs> no, Abraham got it. Well, Abraham got most it. Oh, name that me. carpet. Does that? Oh, that looks really familiar. Love my carpet. That. Oh, I'm gonna say it off mic. Hold on. Who is it? Hold on. <laughs> is it? What it looks like. Oh man, you got a good carpet. I don't know if that is or not, but it reminds me You're of like it. A carpet savant there, Ezra. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's right or not, though. I'm thinking MFF. I'm thinking MFF at the old hotel. Yeah, the, the, the uh, double. Uh, the one with the fish pond. Drago says Megaplex. Oh, oh FWA. FWA. Chance. No, oh. wrong. FWA. I've only been to that hotel once. Okay. Um, wow. FA, you said? Oh, we know the way. We know this Kangler, one. Did anyone get it? Oh, uh, Abram got that one. FWA. FWA. Yeah, and Scooter got that one. And that's it. Okay, what's this? Oh, wait. Uh, no, Abram. We know this one. Okay, <laughs> name this carpet. I know that one. <laughs> of course. I think we see that one at the end of the F -A -U week. FAU from DJ Lab. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, MFF from uh, Laura Guy. I'm going to go with Yappy on this, Megaplex. <laughs> yeah, um, this is the Megaplex. Megaplex is, is Oreo. Yeah, yeah, that was the one we saw already. Megaplex, Megaplex from Mama Glacier and J-Rex. Okay, so what's this name, vomit? 
Well, let's see. Whose puke is that in the upper right-hand corner? Looks more like Grandma's underwear. 